two squares were removed from figure P to form figure Q. The perimeter of figure P is 240 centimeters. What is the perimeter of figure Q? So let's visualize and just focus on figure P. If I were to move all the lines that is facing downwards, it will actually make the parameter of the figure P. Then if I do the same on the left side, it now starts to look like something like a square. If I were to do the same on the right side, it actually looks something like a square. And since all of the sides of the square is actually three squares, each side is in a way three units. That means 240 is equal to four times three units. And that will give us 12 units equal to 240, which leaves us to one unit is equal to 20. Now we know how much is one unit, we go to figure Q. And if you do what we did just now, in figure P to figure Q is essentially two units and three units. And therefore, the parameter of figure Q is equal to two units, plus three units, plus two units, plus three units, which is equal to 10 units, which is also equal to 10 times 20, which is equal to 200 centimeters. Therefore, figure Q parameter is 200 centimeters. We are having free math tuition for the whole year of 2025. Join us and receive bonuses that includes PSLE math, 10 year series, mock exam papers, and access to learning portal. Find out more at easy1.sg forward slash free dash trial. See you there.